I uh, wonderful people of Nigeria. How are they now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time that you are watching this video. They say in my place that when coal fire burn you, you got the fear of ordinary ashes. The fear of protest is the beginning of shivering for APC politicians. Now about this nationwide protest, I don't know why the APC people are so scared of protest. But these are the same people that did not allow you Lord Jonathan to rest with protest. They all protested. Buari, Tinubu, Erufai, Bayo Ononuga, Wale Shoyinka, even Baba Adeboye protested. This same Adeboye that is telling you to pray for Tinubu to succeed despite the fact that Tinubu is not even qualified to rule Nigeria nor does he even care about the people. These same people did not spare Jonathan, but today they are telling you pray for Tinubu to succeed. Religious has so much blinded us. Someone that is serving a deity, he doesn't care about your God, and you are telling people to pray through your God to help him. So we should pray for him despite whatever he's serving. I don't know the Bible that some people are reading, you know. Maybe when you reach a certain rank in priesthood, an angel will come and give you a different Bible from what all of us know. Because the Bible that I know, even David, that the Bible record that is a man after God's own heart. The Bible said when he wanted to build a temple for God, God told him not to build the temple because his hands are soaked with blood from all the wars that he fought. I quoted this same passage during the time of Buari and people kept praying for Buari for 8 years. What did the prayers do? No matter how you pray for someone, if the person himself doesn't have a relationship or is not, his hands are not clean, there is nothing that your prayer can do. The prayer succeeded to install Tinobuna, our renewed hope. So, in a way, I think our Yoruba brothers have demonstrated to the entire Nigeria how tribal they can be. And though it's not everyone, but a certain number of them have shown that when even a clergyman becomes psychophant, then it can't be any worse. Well, let's show you that was condemning just a comment that the Labour Party vice presidential candidate utter. But they never said a word about the brutal exhibition of their APC talks on voters during the 2023 election. With all that Nigerians are going through, he never condemned anything. Rather, he quietly snaked to Asurok to go and collect his own national kit. And then he came and lied to the media that he went to give Tinubu his seven-point agenda. How many of those two agendas have been executed, Mr. Lloyd Redovelli? And be had in the pronounce answer. Well, they show in Kada said Peter B is not fit to be president because Peter B is not controlling people that are insulting him, well, they in on social media. I must say because he's an old school, we can pardon him for that. Has Peter B himself controlled people that have been insulting him? Oh, maybe he doesn't know that even Peter B has APC and pro Tinubu people that have been insulting him on social media. How can you control millions of people that are typing things on social media? No, Peter B needs to employ 70,000 people to be watching over the internet. Anybody that attacks or insults Walesha Inka, one of the 70,000 people will quickly reply him with a hashtag Peter B. Oh, remove that comment immediately or we will beat you. How can you insult Walesha Inka? Even the people that own those social media platforms themselves, they can't control anyone or what they say. And social media is such a place that even I can open an account with the name Wole Inka and they will approve it because different people bear the same name in the world. So even the person that you are feeding under your roof can be using a fake account to insult you and you will think that it's a distant enemy that is doing it to you. I think that comment was childish and myopic to say. You know, they say that when people are getting old, they begin to behave like small children. And the next point on matter, Bayo Nonuga said that Peter B is the one that is planning the nationwide protest. I've known APC to be a party of blame from day one, so I'm not surprised at all. How can I be surprised? You people are the ones that are surprised. When they came to power in 2015, they blamed the past administration, that is PDP, for the whole four years. During the second tenure of Buari Nko, they blamed COVID-19, they blamed this, they blamed that. Till he left power, he did nothing. Blame and borrowing and bad governance, nothing else. Oh my goodness. That shows you that they don't even know what they are doing. That's why even their own APC member, Muhammad Ndume, called them Kakistocrats. Kakistocrats means a government that is ruled by the least qualified people. It is just like say you want to employ a manager to run your company. 
Instead of you to employ a graduate with experience in managerial activities, you rather go and employ one of MC Luomo boys that is a conductor with the heavy duty go smoking. Why won't they say Peter B is the one that is planning the protest? Say it is Peter B that has increased the fire price to 800 naira per liter that people are buying now in Flint Station now. I be is not Peter B that has taken our dollar from 200 naira per dollar that they met at the time of Jonathan in 2015 to 1,600 naira that dollar is selling at the moment. Peter B is the one that has been telling the Yoruba people that said that will not come. He is the one that has been telling them to be shouting a big power now. Is it not Peter B that has been telling them to be shouting a big power? He is the one now. Of course, it is Peter B that has moved the bag of rice from 12,000 naira that they met it in 2015 to 100,000 naira that it is right now. It is Peter B that has signed a fake student loan in order to increase school fees and the loan cannot be assessed. It is Peter B that has introduced all harsh economic policies that has chased almost all the great multinational companies from Nigeria. It is Peter P that took Nigeria from the largest African economy to fourth position between 2023 May and now. Is it not Peter P that increased energy tariff to almost three times high? No, so now, it was Peter P that bought a private jet for Tinubu despite the suffering that Nigerians are going through. It was Peter P that used 21 billion naira to renovate or to build a house for the vice president because he did not have house before. It was Peter B that advised all the senators and the House of Reps to buy a bulletproof car for themselves for 160 million naira each when the country is dying of poverty. All the bad bad things that have been going on with the APC government, it was Peter B that has been engineering it. Even Ensa said it was Peter B that planned it. So can't you see that Peter B is the problem of this country? Our APC politicians are innocent. It is Peter B that is frustrating Dangote refinery so that the cabals will continue to suck Nigeria dry. That is to show you that these people have no single idea of the problem that is going on in Nigeria. And that tells you everything about APC. If you sit in an exams and you do not understand the question, can you attempt to answer it? Never! How can you answer a question that you don't understand? Okay, if I ask you now, what was my step-grandmother's younger sister's middle name and date of birth who got the Laola Fotonli from the Kaibiki of the 12th Elite community? Can you answer that? How possible? That's why APC can't help you. They don't even know the problem that Nigeria is going through. That's why they resort to blaming other people instead of them to see that Nigeria is dying and the protest is as a result of their bad governance. Which means they don't even have a solution for you because if they had a solution, they won't be looking for who to blame. Instead, they would rather call themselves together and come up with an idea to quiet the cry of the people. And if the people that are supposed to gather information to inform Tinubu of what is going on are rather blaming others, how much more the Tinubu himself that even ministers and senators complain that they cannot assess him? How much more information will he do? So the man is being fed with the information that is cooked inside his toilet. They have no single clue of our problem. The president of Burkina Faso and Niger Republic had a meeting. They trekked from the airport till they got to the city. Come and see how the citizens were roaring in jubilation. That's a military government that the thieves that came to colonize us told us that is bad. They told us that democracy is the best. But they themselves are not practicing democracy. A monarchy is sitting there. And they met us using that same system before they destroyed it and deceived us so that they can indirectly continue to benefit from our destruction. Now they say military government is bad. But the people that have military government are rather jubilating. Meanwhile, we that have democracy, we are crying and dying. Who is deceiving who? Look at their leaders walking free on the streets. Our own here. Chinobu cannot even have people through the car window while he's passing on the street. How about the senators and the House of Reps? They all wasted our funds to buy bulletproof cars of 160 million naira each to protect themselves from their evil acts. How can a group of people who just resumed office first thing they did was to buy bulletproof cars of over 160 million naira each, not for 10 people, not for 20 people, when they have not passed even a single bill yet? Because they already know that they will never give you good governance. So they have to protect themselves. When we were warning you people, even the people that haven't stepped their feet in Lagos since they were born, they were telling you that Tinubu built Lagos, Tinubu is coming to build Nigeria. He is building Nigeria already. I don't even know why people are planning protests. 
because a lot of you people were educating us of, of the things that Tinubu has been doing and the things that he's coming to do for us. So I don't know why you want to protest now. Tinubu has been building Nigeria. If you, you haven't seen your own building yet, please hurry to Metama in Abuja. The engineer must have mistakenly taken your own building to Abuja. They are so scared of protests that they are paying people to come and say all sorts of rubbish. I saw a video of a woman that was saying that they, the indigenous women of Abuja, don't want protests. Those that want to do protests should go back to their state and do so. You see, it is the same demonstration of stupidity that I'm saying. To show you that the people that paid her to come and say that nonsense themselves don't even know what a protest is. Why should Muhammad Ndume not call them kakistocrats when they don't know what even a protest is? Protest is not something that you have to seek government opinion or seek permission from a hungry fellow that they pay 15,000 naira to come and say rubbish in front of TV before you carry it out. And to tell you that the government sponsored her, some of the major TV stations were there. How was she able to gather them together? It is simple now. It is RNG. RNG now. See, this protest matter will continue next week. Our time has unfortunately been a dichotomical way come to an end. See you again next Saturday when we will be dissecting how the protest is going. But yeah!